Hey, what's up? This is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. Um, so, getting started in web design, here are some some things uh, that some advice I wanted to give you or share with you. I get this question a lot. I a lot of folks who watch my videos are up and coming web designers who are just getting started in the field and wanting to learn some or know some advice from from myself. And uh, first off, I appreciate you guys, um, you know, giving me feedback and watching the videos. I uh, greatly appreciate that because it's basically the reason why I put this out there and um, I'll be happy to share all types of advice for you guys. So, so I uh, definitely appreciate that. But getting started in web design, here's some things that, that I would give you, some advice I would give you um, uh, and, and it would definitely help you out in your career. Number one, make sure you, make sure you, you learn HTML and um, Learn how to take a, a mock-up. Obviously, you're going to learn, you know, design and learn how to mock-up websites. But learn how to take that mock-up to uh, slice up the images and take it from the mock-up to full-fledged working HTML prototypes using uh, HTML and CSS. And this will in, um, this will involve you learning how to hand code websites. I know uh, a lot of folks. Uh, I work primarily in fireworks, so I get a lot of people who are. Uh, who are interested in fireworks and you guys know if you're working in fireworks that it uh, it has a functionality that allows you to export to Dreamweaver and and create HTML but to be honest with you uh, in in as, as, as long as I've been designing websites I don't really know of anyone that actually used that that functionality everyone that I know have learned HTML and, and it's um, it, they need to they don't um, you need to know how to do HTML uh, to to be successful uh, in this in this uh, what do you call it career or in this field so <laughs> um, so do that uh, number two uh, don't limit yourself to just web design. Learn everything else. Um, brand development. Learn why branding and brand development is important. Um, learn why a website is a valuable tool for a company. Learn how to optimize websites to to perform better uh, organically um, through in, in search engines. Um, learn how uh, it's important to understand how to improve websites for higher conversions. Uh, a conversion is, you know, the the process of someone actually filling out a form or completing a task on a website, either buying a product or filling out a form or some of some sort on a website. Because ultimately, that's what companies want. They want conversions, and if you know how to design to improve conversions, uh, that's a valuable asset that that um, companies look for. Um, uh, number three, make sure you blog because blogging is important. I know early on when I first started, I regret not blogging early. Uh, back in 99, 2000, um, I was intimidated. I thought blogging was for writers, and that's far from the truth. Uh, don't don't be intimidated by it. Get you a blog and start blogging, and um, and just share your thoughts because companies want to see more than just your design. Because to, in today, if you have five pieces of of, uh, of sample sites on your website, it's really really doesn't say much. Yeah, you know how to design. Um, that's cool. What else can you do? You know, what? How do you think? You know, what are what are some things that you like? How how? Do, what's your process? You know, how do you go about thinking? And, and what are some of the things that you're thinking about? So that's very important. Um, so get your blog, and it's going to help you out. It's going to do tons for your for your career. It's going to uh, get people to understand who you are. Get people to hire you uh, quicker. Bring you in uh, for jobs and. Um, it's going to get people to follow you and start to network with you a little bit better. Um, and lastly, is uh, just continue to follow folks like myself. You know, because why? Because 14 years doing this, I know a lot, and I'm going to be sharing a lot with you. And if I had this type of information um, back then, it, this is like invaluable. I would pay for stuff like this. Pay for someone. To to take you by the hand and just sort sort of sort show you how they do things because it's always good to see how other people um, do it. Um, I know I've always wanted to see that, and you know earlier in this year or early late or late last year, I told myself I'm going to start putting out more videos and, and creating a YouTube channel and just 
start doing more and start start showing I start blogging more about some of the things that I do because I have all this experience and there's so many people out there that I know I can help and, and uh, share this stuff with so um, follow folks like me connect with me on Twitter um, send me emails um, you know follow my blog just just stay in touch and uh, you'll you'll definitely learn a lot and another thing is you know for for designers first coming up I know it's very intimidating I know as a young designer myself it was very intimidating because we're always trying to impress other designers you know and and I'm, I'm honest here I'm, I'm, I'm being truthful here stop being intimidated by the fact that you don't think your designs and your work is up to par you know uh, because if you show me a design and it's crap I'm not gonna I'm not I'm gonna tell you how to to fix it I'm not gonna just talk bad about you and say you're you're a lousy designer um, it's it's you know I'm gonna show you how you can improve those type of things so don't be afraid to to ask questions to get your portfolio out there no matter what it looks like you know and just ask questions be honest say hey you know what I know I'm not the best but is there anything that you can you can do to help me out or if your if your website is out there um, you know don't 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 feel bad about it you know you're gonna grow you're gonna always grow and you're not gonna like it you're not gonna like certain things you're not gonna like, like certain parts of your site believe me I've been doing this for 14 years and two weeks go by and I look at my website and I go I would do things differently to be honest with you I would change this that that and if we always think like that guess what we'll always be updating our websites and uh, never be satisfied so just put it out there just grow just understand that you know you're gonna always be wanting to change and always wanting to do things don't always have an under construction sign on your website or this thing is coming soon just have a blank page with a couple of logos and a, and a screenshot you know and that's better than having a, a site that you're, you're kind of like working on you've been working on for months and you're not ready to to, to you know show the world just just go with it put stuff out there and just go because you're always going to be updating your site you're always going to be improving you're never going to get to the end of all of this you're always going to be learning each day as you go so be patient take your time practice and um, you'll 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 become good and you'll, you'll be successful um, in this career so uh, please if you have any questions shoot me an email mlock at mlwebco and uh, mlwebco.com and uh, visit my website mlwebco.com and uh, um, thanks for watching okay we'll be talking soon hope this was helpful um, and uh, see you next time bye